Hey everyone, it's Michelle Gilmartin with another Fun Technique Tuesday. Um, today we're going to talk about um, the My Connection feature that came. Um, you got two little cards if you have an either an SDX335 or an XDX330D um, scan and cut. That would be the new scan and cut that came with the rotary blade. So it came with two cards in the box. So when you registered your machine, your machine should already be registered on Canvas Workspace. Um, if it is not, then um, refer to previous videos on how to register a machine on Canvas Workspace. When you registered your machine, you should also have registered this rotary auto blade um, there's an individual number on the each inside of this, and this is to register a pattern collection. Um, so again, if you're not sure how to register a pattern connection, there are previous videos that have been made on how to register a pattern collection on Scan and Cut Canvas. What we're going to talk about today is establishing my connection, which is a two-way connection between your Scan and Cut 330 or 335, whichever one you have, and your your Luminaire um, embroidery machine. So it's only between the Scan and Cut and the Luminaire. It is a one um, it is a one time activation, meaning it only pairs one Luminaire with one Scan and Cut. And we're going to go through the steps on how to make that pairing happen today. And then in another video later, um, we'll show you some of the wonderful new features you get on how you can create your own appliques and take shapes from the Scan and Cut and make them into embroidery designs and send embroidery designs, even the ones that aren't built into the um, Luminaire, if they have uh, applique and then you can send it back to the Scan and Cut wirelessly back and forth. Really a fun connection, some very fun features. So inside this card is a one use number. So to register, um, to uh, make that connection link, you're going to touch your machine setting screens. Now your machine needs to be at the most current version of the software. So in this case, the most version, current version is 3.51. You should see this little icon up here, and I'm on page seven, that says Scan and Cut My Connection. And you're gonna touch Certification, and then Scan and Cut, and then Online Machine Certification. Read and agree to the terms, and then you're gonna input that number um, that so this is the number of the scan and cut you're going to insert the number of this card into this area here so I'm going to pause for just a moment while I input my numbers all right so once you have inputted your numbers you're going to select set and the machine number and the activation code will be sent to the server and you're going to say okay so certification was successful. Please restart the sewing machine to send data to your scan and cut machine and restart your machine and register your machine on Canvas Workspace server from page 13. So once we get done doing this, we will have a page 13 on our machine settings screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause while I turn the machine off and turn it back on. All right, so let's go to the machine settings screen. And you'll see that I have that page 13 now. Um, so I'm going to go to page 13. Let me hit the Wi-Fi and it'll take me to the... And you'll see that I'm going to now register this machine, this Luminaire, to Canvas Workspace. So I'm going to select Register. And it's telling me to log into Canvas Workspace, which I'm already logged in, um, to tap the account settings. So the account settings are the little person that's at the top of your screen. So if you touch that little person, it'll open up a segment that says, in English, please, user information, registration of machines, activation of the pattern connection, and activation of premium features. So we are gonna touch registration of the machine. So we're gonna scroll all the way down to where it says register a new sewing machine. And so I'm going to enter this number into this area here. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Your number will be different on your machine. Okay, so now I have the number typed in and I'm going to select OK. 
and it's going to tell me to enter a pin code on the sewing machine. So I'm going to select next on my sewing machine and I am going to type in that pin code and then select OK. By clicking OK, your pin code, um, MAC address, and machine number will be sent to Drop Brother server to pair your sewing machine with your scan and cut and your other sewing machines. Um, I don't know what other sewing machines they mean, but the information will not be used other than for the purpose stated above. So I'm going to select OK. It's processing. And I am now good to go. So I am registered, or Jeannie's registered, to Canvas Workspace, and I am done. I can now use the My Connection feature. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, so what I found to be helpful is open up your Canvas account first. Open up Canvas, log in. Make sure that your new Scan and Cut is actually registered to your Canvas account because nothing's going to happen if that new if that new Scan and Cut isn't registered there. Um, and then follow the prompts on your machine. Also, um, you will, you have the ability to download the My Connection um, instruction manual. Um, you can type in, if you didn't have a link, you should have a link in some of the information that was inside the box with your Scan and Cut. If not, you can simply type in Scan and Cut My Connection Owner's Manual into a Google search bar and it'll take you right to the Brother website where you can download that connection manual, My Connection, if you want to um, download it and print it. So um, happy stitching and we'll be back in a little while with another new video.